I'm in the best mood because I got to go to Target today and Bath and Body Works and I got sweater weather, right? And pumpkin spice latte. Kyle wants to show us something, so let's go see. Usually he's mowing the yard. Usually he would not come inside unless it's something pretty cool. So let's go see what it is. Hey. What, hey. what hey. is it? Oh, look what we found. A little mole. It looks so soft. Hey, Liz, can I touch it? I think we should keep him long enough for Bubby and Sissy to get home so they can see him. And then I don't know what we're going to do with him because we don't want to put him back in the grass. Yeah, it might tear it up. Yeah. We'll tear it up, won't he? Good oh, You want to put him in your home? That can bite you. Yeah, it can bite you, I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if a mole will bite you or not, actually. I don't think they have. Oh, I wish he could hold still a little bit so I could see his little face. Look at him trying to dig with his giant little hands. Yeah. It helps him dig real fast through the ground. Nose. They eat grubs and worms and stuff, so I don't know if they even have teeth. Let's look it up. All right, I'm at the computer. Let's see what we can find out about if moles have teeth. I'm a slow typer, guys, I know. Ooh, gopher moles or voles? Ooh, that's hard to say for me. <laughs> voles. It looks like a mole just because of the darkness. Here we go. It says if a mole does deliver a bite, it will be a few small holes in the skin, almost like a stapler would make. Oh my gosh, that's so teeny tiny. Because the mole's teeth are very sharp incisors, it can pierce the skin and cause a slight bit of bleeding. Sometimes, however, the mole might bite and not even break the skin. Well, there you go. They might bite, but not very dangerous. This is dangerous though. I'm gonna drink way too much of this this fall, I know. Now that we solved that mystery, let's go make some dinner. Oh yeah. So for dinner tonight, I'm making baked spaghetti. So this is a pound of sausage and a pound of ground beef. So first I gotta cook that up. Then there's my macaroni. And then we'll put it all in a casserole dish and with my favorite spaghetti sauce. This Newman's own Saccharuni, ooh, it is delicious. Absolutely delicious. There goes Kyle. I did not realize that I had so little shredded cheese left. So we're gonna have to improvise a little with this sliced cheese. I think it'd be all right. Ground beef and sausage. Macaroni. Sakaruni spaghetti sauce. Newman's own. We're gonna stir it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the song I wrote for stirring it up. So yeah, let's let's add some more cheese. That's kinda not gonna do it. Alright, five slices of cheese. Sounds good, right? So I stirred up half of the cheese, half of that cheese, in there, and now I'm gonna put the other half on the top. And there it is with the cheese on the top, so I'll just cover this and put it in the fridge. 
until I get home from picking the kids up from school. And then I can put it in the oven at 350 for about half an hour. Go out of here. Then I can put it in the oven at 350 for about half an hour and they'll all just gobble it up. Make a couple veggies to go on the side. Probably a salad and green beans, maybe? Here it is, all covered up. I'll just leave it in here and leave the foil on and just put it right in the oven when I get home. Let me show you what I got at Target. You already saw part of what I got earlier from Target. What, Stacy? It's August. You've gone too far. I got these shoes for Josie. Won't those be adorable with her uniform? Yeah. I also got her these jeans. I got this purple pair and this pair with these rainbow hearts, which she's gonna love. On clearance. Yay. And then I got these for me. But the only thing is, I got them size 12 and I was like, wait a minute, I don't wear size 12 anymore. Josie wears size 12, I'm in a 10. But I wanna try them on and see if they fit. So it's a little misleading, because at first I'm like, oh, these fit okay, they'll be fine. But they've got so much elastic in them, not elastic, like spandex or whatever, they're so stretchy that it's like, That, that's gonna be falling down. And I'm gonna be like, all the time, and I don't wanna do that. <laughs> all right, so we'll return those, which is a good thing, right? They're too big. It's a good thing when your clothes are too big. No, it's an annoying thing, because then you have to go back to the store. Oh, wait a minute. That means I have to go back to Target. Kyle went to go play Frisbee with a friend of his, which is great, because he'll pick up the kids, and I don't have to go into Lexington again. Yay! Charlie and I are hanging out on our deck, just enjoying it. it. Feels so good out here today. So one other thing I'd like to accomplish today is to put away the spring and summer decor in the house. I'm gonna go ahead and get that all put up so I can do a little cleaning and then I, I'll be all ready when September 1st hits to start putting out fall. And I can't wait. Charlie, what did you do? What shit? What'd you do? What'd you catch? Oh, just like Sissy. Ew. Oh, okay, let's go throw it in the trash and wash your hands. Get all the fly guts off. It's about time to repolish your nails, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. So my timer just went out and I took it out and see how it looks. It looks pretty good. Oh, it looks pretty good. Now I have to eat up because I gotta leave in about half an hour to go cut my friend's hair. So thanks for joining us guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.